Hey guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to create a high converting landing page for Pinterest affiliate marketing. We're gonna be creating a blog post inside of ClickBank's all-in-one funnel builder, ClickBank Accelerator. One of my favorite ways to use Pinterest is with a blog post. Basically, you get people who are curious about your topic to click your pin, they go read through your blog post, you can sprinkle in mentions of the product that you wanna promote, and you can encourage them to click those, go buy the product, and get you affiliate commissions. So let's dive in. I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through how to create your own Pinterest landing page. To kick things off, we obviously need to know where we're going to be promoting content. So I have actually created a golf blog. I called it putterscorner.com. Pretty simple little blog, but it's all about uh, promoting golf products and sharing information about golf. And so the blog post that we're gonna talk about today is the top 10 golf swing tips for beginners. And we need to start there and then back up to figure out what kind of a pin we should create. So this is the blog. Now I'm gonna go over to Pinterest and talk you through how we do that. So this is what the finished pin looks like, but I want to briefly take you back to what I did in Canva, just so you know how quick and easy it is to create your very own pin. So all I did was I started with this simple template uh, that I found on Canva for soft and chewy cho chocolate chip cookies. Uh, all I did was swap out the image of chocolate chip cookies with this nice image of a putter next to a golf ball on the tee. And then I swapped out the title to match the 10 golf swing tips that we mentioned in the blog post. I changed the subheading here to learn the game. And then I mentioned the website here. So this is a very simple way to create pins. There's all sorts of programs out there. You can probably mess around with Photoshop, Illustrator, all sorts of other ones. But if you're just getting started and you want a really easy way to create the designs for your pins, Canva has presets and templates that make it super easy. So going over to Pinterest, this is what the finished one looks like. I'm going to briefly walk you through how I created a pin. So you go to create, you have a spot where you can drag your image. So I created and downloaded the Golf Swing Tips PNG from Canva. So I'm just gonna drag it over here. And that right there is the image. Now I can enter the title. I can add a brief description saying something about learn how to. Then we can add the link. I have already published this example blog post, so I will open that up. So I'm gonna go here, I'm going to click to copy that link, and then I will paste it here. So this pin will link over to the blog post. But I do wanna real quick mention that there's a reason why we are doing a link to the blog post and not straight to the affiliate product, which I'll show you how to do in a second. The idea here is, Yes, technically you can add a direct affiliate link on Pinterest to a product sales page, but you're not really giving any opportunity for people to warm up. Like imagine you're scrolling Pinterest, you're searching for tags or you're just like following things and you're seeing pins and you see something interesting like this, you know, here, here's some golf swing tips and you think, oh, that's kind of interesting. And imagine you go straight to a sales page where they're gonna sell you something. That's just not a great user experience. You haven't had any context about it and suddenly you're getting sold and it just doesn't feel like something that would really be a good feeling. It doesn't feel like it would be beneficial for you. As the person who is putting this content out there, you wanna make sure that your audience feels like they're getting value first. When they get to the blog post, obviously you'll have affiliate links there that can point them to the sales page, but you're also delivering on the value that you promised in your pin. We can add a couple tags here just to show what the pin is about for people who are inclined to search for it. I've chosen like golf club, golf tips, um, maybe golf drills, okay? So just a couple tags that if somebody is searching on Pinterest, they, they'll find your relevant pin. And then all we have to do is hit publish. And now the pin has been published. So at this point we, have created a simple design inside of Canva. We've also created a pin and published it that's pointing to our blog post. So the next step is to create that blog post. I'm gonna start 
by going into ChatGPT and showing you how I very briefly generated some copy that we could use for this. So I entered a simple prompt just talking about, can you write me a simple article that covers the top 10 golf swing tips for beginners? The goal is to convince site visitors to check out an affiliate pr product for improving their golf swing. And so ChatGPT generated this copy. So I'm gonna take this and create a new blog post just to show you how the process works. Okay, so we're gonna go to my content, my posts inside of ClickBank Accelerator. We're gonna generate a new post over here. And we can start by adding a title, which is just the top 10 golf swing tips for beginners. We can <clears throat> choose the author. In my case, that's Daniel Thrasher. Um, you can pick category. I've already generated a few. Uh, I think golf swing and golf basics are both good categories for this one. Um, we can have it recommend a an SEO name, which is just the URL, and I will refine that real quick. And that's all you have to do to get those basics set up. And now this is the part where we can add the content. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to copy and paste all of the copy that it created for me. And then I'm going to hit save so we have something to work with. Now, I'm going to go over to my funnels, go to the funnel manager. I'm going to go to blog feed. And you can see this new post that I just published uh, that still needs a bit of work. So I can grab a new image real quick, search for golf. Now I'm gonna jump into the post and we can start editing this. I'm just adjusting some headings just to give you a sense of what the formatting should look like. This is super quick and basic stuff that you can do inside of ClickBank Accelerator. So at this point, I've gone through and copied the text that was generated by ChatGPT into ClickBank Accelerator in my new blog post. And now we're ready to talk about how you add your affiliate links. One thing I wanna mention, obviously ChatGPT, the way that I just used it, probably isn't enough to create a really high quality blog post there's more that you could do for on-page optimization, for just adding content quality. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to be able to show you something really quick. So we have a pin, we have a blog post. Now we want to talk about how you monetize this. I should mention that from the very beginning, I had a specific ClickBank product in mind. If you're not familiar, ClickBank is an affiliate marketplace with thousands of products that you can go promote and they're proven high converting offers that other people have already done the hard work of creating for you. Now all you have to do is add your affiliate links and you can start getting commissions. Hopping into the marketplace, I'm going to search for golf. Um, and this was a product that I was already thinking about using to monetize this particular blog post. Since the post is about golf swing tips, I figured why not promote a golf swing product that can take their golf game to the next level. So I'm actually gonna to go to their affiliate tools page. Um, this is a place where they provide resources. Most quality vendors and, and product owners on ClickBank have a support page for affiliates where they give you the resources that you need in order to promote the products. And so rather than having to do this all from scratch, I'm gonna actually borrow some of theirs. Here I am inside of the affiliate center for that product. I'm gonna to go to tools and resources for promotions. Gonna to go to the stress-free golf swings affiliate resources. So right off the bat inside their tools page, you can see that they have provided an affiliate link that's specific to my ClickMake nickname um, for that specific product since they have so many different golf products. And it's good to know that they have different golf products because down the road for different blog posts and different things, you might wanna choose different ones. But obviously in this case, I'm gonna grab this one. So I have this affiliate link that I can add to the blog post. One way to do that 
is I also at the top of the blog post have this mention of we'll introduce you to an amazing product that can accelerate your progress. So I'm going to just put this link in right here. So you go to command K or insert link, and then I can paste the link that I just did. And just like that, I have added an affiliate link to this blog post for that specific ClickBank product. Basically the way that works is someone comes to your article, whether that's from Google or from Pinterest through your pin, and they are reading the blog post and they see that you are talking about this amazing product and they click, they go to that sales page and you know, maybe they'll buy it. And we have now landed on the sales page for this golf product. This is a text sales letter, which is a perfect way to transition from a blog post. Thinking about the customer journey, someone sees a pin on Pinterest about golf tips. They click and they go to a blog post with text that is describing tips for a golf swing. They see a link that is interesting to them and they click that one and it takes them to the sales page that's also text. So it's very consistent. It's a, it's a seamless user experience. And now uh, if they are convinced from the sales page and all the testimonials on the page, then when they get to the bottom, they can click on this button that says, put this one secret move to the test now with their 60 day no risk trial. And you can see on the order form, they can click the pay now button and get the product. And you get, as the affiliate, you get 75% of whatever the total order is here. And they also have some order bumps that can add to that sales total. So that's just a quick look at what that would look like from the user's perspective. So real quick, I just wanna to touch on a couple different things about calls to action inside of blog posts. So. What I just added was an in-text link, and I did tee it up a little bit, no pun intended, by pointing out that it's an amazing product. So that's already a good thing because it's telling people what they're going to get when they click that link, what they're gonna see on the other side. If all I did was, was have just like, find out more here or something with no context and someone clicks that, then they're not, they don't know what to expect when they land on that page. So that is an, an important thing. You could go a step further um, and I actually recommend it. Um, you can see we have tips that fulfill the promise of the title here, the 10 golf swing tips, things like establishing a solid stance or keeping your eye on the ball. Um, I would say one of these tips, instead of it being, you know, practice or, you know, change your stance or power through uh, the downswing, any of that stuff, I would say something like get help from the pros and add some context like perfecting your golf swing on your own can be a huge challenge. Why not get a little help? And again, you can add the affiliate link here. And those are both text links that we can use to encourage people to make a purchase. Now, what I liked about this approach of adding a tip that's specific to promoting is you're really giving people context when they're reading the article about what they're about to do. I think a lot of the mistakes that beginner affiliates make on blog content or other kinds of free traffic content is they either don't promote the product at all or they go really hard in promoting the product. They're just like, they're not th focusing on adding any value or adding a lot of like tips and information that's useful to people. They're just like, come on, buy now, buy now. Or on the other hand, they're just, they kind of sneak it in. They're just like, oh, I'm giving you value, but what if you click this link with no context about it? Neither of those is a good approach. There needs to be something in the middle where you are relating the product back to the content that you're talking about. It's relevant to the title. It's relevant to what the person came to the page for. And you're, you know, you're, you're selling it a little bit. You're giving it some level of promotion, but it's not, you know, all or nothing. So I recommend that for those links. And now I want to show you one other quick thing that you might do um, to promote the product. So if we go back to the affiliate center here, 
we can go to a tab for banners and you can see a wide static banner or a square static banner. Um, this one would be perfect for something in the sidebar. Um, I like these wider ones for use inside of the main blog content. Now we can copy this right here and paste it. We can also right click here and download it and then add our affiliate link, the one that we've already copied. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I can show you what the process of adding an image looks like. So I've, I've downloaded this static banner. We're gonna go back here and I feel like, you know what, why don't we add an image right about here, right after the intro and before the meat of the content. So I just downloaded this and add our affiliate link here. So that is that is my image. I've added the affiliate link and showed up a little small, so I'm just gonna drag that out to make sure that it fills the body of the blog post. And now you can see that we have this introduction, we have a text link to the product that we wanna promote, and we also have this banner that links out to the affiliate product. So there are multiple ways we can do it. And then, you know, I also recommend that you have one at the end. Um, another way that you might promote a product is with a button. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm gonna click insert button. We have a button here. Uh, so I'm going to click that. I have created a new button. I called the CTA, try this secret move, and I've added the affiliate link. And so that's one other way that you can include an affiliate link in your content. So to review, we have some in-text mentions, we have a static banner, we also have a button. And so those are simple ways that you can add affiliate links to your blog post while still mostly focusing on delivering value through the content that you created. I hope you can see it's pretty simple. You can create a pin and publish it, that make sure that it has tags and that you're building a following and making sure that all of your pins are optimized. But you create a pin that provides that sense of like intrigue or curiosity to encourage people to click through and land on your blog post. And then there are a couple different ways that you can add affiliate links on that page to encourage people to learn more about the topic and also learn more about the product that you want to promote. So now you should know how to publish your own pins on Pinterest, how to create blog content and publish that content inside of ClickBank Accelerator, and you know how to grab an affiliate link from inside of ClickBank and add that those links to your blog post to monetize it. Now you have everything you need to know to generate sales with Pinterest affiliate marketing. Once again, I used ClickBank Accelerator for this video. Accelerator is an all-in-one funnel builder, page builder, and email marketing tool that you can use to do everything you need to do as an affiliate. I'm gonna drop a link in the description below for you to check that out. Definitely leave a comment if you have any questions. I'm happy to jump in and answer those. Uh, like it if this video is helpful for you. Subscribe so you can check out more content like this in the future, and I'll catch you next time.